All right, so we're here at Loyston Point Mountain Bike Trail. We found this trail yesterday while camping. Really good, it's, it says it's a beginner trail and it's definitely wide, I would say it's beginner. But they have some really cool downhills. But with that comes some really long uphills. So we're just kind of in the middle of one of those grueling uphills. But once we get to the peak, it looks like it's hard to say exactly from trail forks, but looks like it could be close to a mile of downhill. It's a little bit of variation, but last night we came out late to ride this and uh, ended up getting a flat. Of course, it was just going to be a quick beginner loop, so I didn't bring my tube or tools. So we ended up hiking it back. I didn't want to damage my rim, obviously. So today we're hoping to do the whole thing. I had to use the tube last night, so hopefully we don't get another flat. But so far this trail is really, really fun. The uphills are fairly easy, but long. Nice and wide, nothing too technical. It is a beginner trail, but you can really get zooming down some of these downhills which you'll see shortly all right it looks like we're at the top of this Loyston loop top of the peak here where I think it's about a mile of downhill roughly looks like a little bit of variation in the middle there but so we're gonna go shooting down this and see I'm at 2.68 of a mile right now into this trail so I'm kind of curious to see how long this downhill is so here we go
8 now, 3.83. So that downhill was, I can't remember exactly, but I want to say it's a little over a mile with a little variation. But definitely what a, a really great spot to keep some keep some speed. It's probably one of the best beginner trails I've personally ridden. Definitely the best beginner trail with some downhill like that. A lot of beginner trails will just be you know flat and smooth. This one's got quite a bit of downhill with some climbing, but nothing like nothing too crazy. Right on Norris Lake here is just beautiful. and in the water. downhill flow right here for sure a little sandy and rocky you got to watch those curves but overall really fun probably need to add some more tire pressure to keep a little more grip but we're doing it here So this is the start and end of the blue trail here called Mill Creek Loop. We've looked at it a little bit. It looks pretty steep, like a long, long uphill, but a lot of downhill too. So we might hit this later tonight. We'll see how, how my knee's feeling, but just wanted to show you guys. It's called Mill Creek Loop. I think it's like seven miles. You having a good time, Will? Great, super fun. Yep, I like the downhill flow, especially going really well. This is the other part of that. Mill Creek Loop. I don't know if this is the start or the end. I think you can go both ways if you want, but that's the other side. All right, we are almost back to the parking lot. Here we're at the trailhead. We have a big parking lot, plenty of room out here. Little uh, information map, got the trail, how long each of them are. There's some hikers out there too. I didn't see, only saw one I think, but really fun spot right here at Norse Lake. 